ただいまより第10試合を行います青コーナー178センチ9 2 5 0キロバーバラーネポーンセーラー赤コーナー186センチ 101.85 キロギャビーガルースキアレフェリーThere we go. Now, we should have mentioned earlier on this evening for the fans wondering what happened to the very first boat of the evening between Reyna and Samantha Jean Fatois. Reyna was unable to make weight. She actually was hospitalized during the weight cut. Uh, Ryzen had made that decision to say, you know what, you're not healthy to fight. Probably not a good idea. Let's worry about it in 2019. Smart move. Good job. Judge. 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 Ready? Fight. Now that uh, Gabby's fighting, um, quick shout out to uh, Ole Roasted. This is one of the fighters I was t talking about earlier in my post. Uh, he's staying up with us tonight watching Must Be on Baby Game. He's got a brand new daughter. So must be oh, congratulations. Yeah. Gabby there with her one two combination. That's it. Very calm, very focused. Oh, overhand right there. That'll wake Gabby up. So powerful. Just the power there. Well, was loving that overhand right, which is what you want to do against a taller fighter. Hit a couple times now. Next time, go down to the body because Gabby's going to start putting the hand up. I think Barbara's going to throw those leg kicks yet. Surprised she hasn't already, but she might be worried about the takedown. Very true. This is not what she wants to be. You don't want Gabby Garcia in the clinch. Gabby throwing the punches there. Stano basically trying to disengage here. Trying to pull away. Gabby's holding her. There we go. Jab there by Gabby Garcia. It's just a one-two combination by Barbara. Yeah, just she follows jab the cross, left yeah. hook, things could change. Throw the three. Double up or double up on the jab. To start with, it'll offset her a little bit too. You say double up and then throw the right? Yeah. It'll give her a little, it'll, it'll stall Gabby because Gabby's expecting the one too. So she's blocking. Jab cross, jab cross, jab cross. So she with two jabs and throws the right. That pattern that rhythm. Gabby Garcia with the clinch gets the takedown. This is exactly where she wants to be. Took her a minute and 45 seconds, but the fight is now on the ground here. Look for her to control Barbara until the opportunity presents itself to go for that submission. It looks like she wants to go for that. Was she looking for a key lock, Frank? Yeah, it looks like it. Some ground and pound there. Gabby with her hips low. That's it. Relax. Yeah, I know Trey with Gabby, but I heard when she went top, she was extremely heavy. Even for the, even for the two corners. She had to cut weight to make, to make the mark two corners, so for 225. So she's uh, uh, probably every bit of 230 right now. Keep going. Here, Gabby's corner. There it is right there. Not good. It is all over. Gabby Garcia. As soon as she got on top of Barbara Nepomuceno, it did not last long. So Gabby moves to six and zero. Six and zero, undefeated. Four submissions on her resume, two by a knockout. But as soon as she got Barbara down to the mat, it was just basically a, a timer, right? Yeah. And it was, it, so the biggest issue is that for Gabby's size, how many women are there in the world can be able to battle against? So really, six and zero, where are you going to see her at seven and zero? Who, who do you think is going to battle seven and zero or eight and zero? It's in. There's just not a big draw uh, for opponents for her. So now we're in a little bit of a, of a stickler spot. Of how are we going to get a more opponent? Well, anything can really happen in MMA. And I'll tell you why. Her idol. Christian Cyborg Santos. It was a very difficult scenario. Oh, here comes. We got some chaos happening here. We knew this was coming. 
Trying to steal the thunder. They were supposed to fight a few shows ago. Gabby didn't make the weight, and she's still bitter about it. Well, yeah, I mean, Gabby came in 26 pounds over. <laughs> so Gabby bitter about it, too. It wouldn't be rising if there wasn't mayhem, Frank. Respect. I love it. Respect you. I respect you. You deserve. You deserve my respect. Do me, Settle down, Frank. Stay here. No, no, no. Stay here, Frank. You're good. Hold me back. You're good, Frank. Frank. No, no. Oh, you're going for coffee? Hold me back. I guess I guess you're gonna get a hammer. Come on. Let's fight. I mean, I mean, after seeing what Gabby Anyone. did there, I wouldn't be challenging her. I'm here. She was actually saying, let's fight, come on, let me fight you. And Gabby's like, I'm here. It's absolute mayhem. Craziness here. Yeah, that was going to happen. Everybody you want opportunity. Barbara is Brazilian. She's the same country. And this is a business. And I respect her a lot. And I'm trying to get her out. Poor wrestling right there. A woman in her 50s to fight someone at 33. She's still trying to get back into the ring. Gabby's now mocking her. I need one belt for the heavyweight girls. I need one belt. No I need one belt. I deserve. Japan, Frank. Japan, baby, they love their shows. <laughs> Bring me some entertainment. Take a look at the replay of the fight, Frank, here. Gabby coming in with a one two combination. Throwing five, six, seven punches, eight. Get it, trying to get in there, trying to clinch with their opponent. Barbara kept her composure, but eventually, once that clinch took place, which is what Barbara should have realized, you don't want to be in a clinch yeah. with Gabby Garcia. And it goes to the ground. We, we all knew it went to the ground. Fight was going to be over. Oh, just by uh, Scott Coker and uh, Ken Amai who showed up. Ken is uh, Myrtle Crow Cops manager, and Scott Coker, of course, is Scott Coker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Means we're getting closer to the co-main event. Getting there. Getting there. Got heavyweight action coming up next. Yuri Prohaska taking on Brandon Halsey. Could be very interesting. The only problem with Gabby is the bigger she gets, the slower she gets. Yes. So eventually you get someone that actually knows how to strike hard and how to show it on the Because she just doesn't have the speed. There's also some experience in MMA if you're Barbara to realize you can't, if you're going to be taking on a grappler and you're the striker, you've got to keep your distance, you've got to keep your footwork because in that scenario, as soon as a grappler gets a hold of you, big trouble. Yeah, huge trouble. And, it's, and it goes back, like you said, Joe, to the early days in MMA where my Kung Fu is better than your judo, which is better than your tri which is better than your catch wrestling, which is styles make the matchup. And that's kind of what happened with that, with that fight. It will be interesting to see what happens with Gabby next, like you mentioned. It's, it's got to be near impossible to find her opponents. But as I was saying about the Cyborg Santos scenario, it was always difficult to find her an opponent at 145 pounds. It just seemed like they'd run out. They had to bring